Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how you can do breast enlargement in GIMP. A lot of people request this tutorial and I hope that it's not offensive to anybody and I'm going to use two images. First one is this one and I'm going to use also this image and I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to select filters then go to distorts and use eye warp I'm going to change the deform mode to grow and deform radius to 50 and this deform amount to 0.25 now depending on the size of the image these settings might be different also when you do something like this when you use this filter try to do it with a bigger image because in simple words what this filter does is when i am growing the area i'm somehow something like zooming in on the pixels and if you have a small image, this will pixelate the area, it will ruin the image. So you need to start with relatively big image. This image is not that big as you can see here, but still it has enough resolution to do something like this. So I'm going to start and click over here and drag. Then here, and then I can click OK to apply the effect. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and now I'm going to press Control Z and Control Y to undo and redo, and you can see the before and after. Now I'm going to jump to the next image. Zooming in in this area. Now if I go to filters, reshow eye warp. You see here that now I'm seeing the entire image and it will be hard for me to work on this area. I'm not going to be able to see very good what I'm doing. I can change that by making a selection. So I'm going to cancel this now. Grab this tool. Click the Enter key to apply the selection. Then go to Filters, Reshow, I Warp. And you see now I'm seeing only the area that I've selected and I will be, it will be easier to work here. Now again I'm going to use the same settings and you don't want to go too far, you don't want to ruin the image so I'm going to go just a little bit here. Now you see here that I went a little bit too far and distorted the image over here. It doesn't look good and the bad thing about this filter is that there is no one do. I can control Z so I need to reset and start over again. I think this is enough for this image so I'm going to click OK. And let's again see with Control Z and Y the before and after. So you see how easy 
is actually to do this. Now this image, I don't really like the result. It kind of looks unnatural, but this one, pretty good result if I undo and reduce CD effect. And like I said, don't go too far, don't distort the images too much and use images with more pixels. So that's it for this tutorial, bye for now.